Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? My name is Doodles, and I am back once again playing Pokemon Leaf Green. And this is my randomizer Nuzlocke playthrough. In the last episode, I tackled Route 5 and 6. We fought a load of trainers. We got a couple of new Pokemon. And after a little bit of research, I've decided who I'm going to be swapping out of my party in favor for some uh, of a newer Pokemon that I... Uh, got in the last couple of episodes and I've decided that I'm going to get rid of Tangela, uh, Butterfree and Haunter and in its place, in their place I should say, I am going to have Omastar, Weezing and Pershing I believe. So therefore, wait a minute. Dragonite. Just gonna make sure that he's correct. I had a little plan, I figured out who I wanted my team. So we have oh no. He's in. Hypno Fever Persian. One, two, three, four, five, and Dragonite. So yes, that is gonna be my party. So I need to change up these uh sprites. So the game's gonna go a little bit quiet, it's gonna freeze just momentarily just while I uh, sort these sprites out for you guys just for the screen just so we can have them on screen so we know exactly who is in the party Omni Knight can go, Omni Star sorry can go there uh, we swapped out Butterfree and we got a Weezing in its place so we are going to swap that out I just need to find the sprite there is the sprite for Weezing I'm going to make him a little bit bigger and we also got rid of Haunter, and in its place, we got Pershing. So although our team is a little bit weaker in some aspects than it was previously, because we've got a level 5 Pershing in our party, we've got a level 10 Omastar, and we've got a level 13 Weezing, which obviously our Pokemon were getting towards level 16, bar Fero. Uh, overall... Looking at base stats and stuff like that, uh, these three are going to be the much better option for our party overall. And we're going to have a much stronger team once they get leveled up to be more accurate and more uh, evenly matched alongside the other Pokemon in the party. We're going to have a much stronger team than we were going to have with Butterfree, Haunter and uh, Tangler. So overall, I've got to say I am very, very happy about this selection. We were grinding Fero, and I think we're going to stay with that. I think that is going to be our plan going forward. However, we are now heading towards the SSN, and we are going to get straight on with that one. Uh, there's quite a lot of trainers. There's quite a lot to do in the SSN, so we're not going to hang about too much. And obviously, we may have to come back and uh, heal up every now and then. But we are going to attempt to battle every single trainer we can. We're going to go into every single room. We're going to talk to every single person. And we are going to try and battle every single person. Because that is going to level us up a hell of a lot. The only issue is we might get Dragonite above level 30. And he's probably not going to... He might start disobeying us. Which is going to suck a little bit. That is going to be the only downfall of doing this. So hopefully we can get everyone leveled up a bit more evenly. And then they can start holding the own rather than relying on Dragonite all the time. Damn. I have no issue with going back to the Pokemon Center all the time because uh, being the SSN, there's no wild Pokemon. So we're not going to say we're going to get caught in battles, but it's only if we see a trainer. And obviously, it's pretty much by choice because all the trainers are in rooms. Uh, it's entirely by choice that we tackle them. So it's not like we're going to get stuck. We're not going to get caught in a battle that we don't want to be in. Uh, we've got pretty much entire control over this uh, SSN, so... Although this isn't going too well, the fact that we got confused and we can't even beat this Venonat because we keep getting hurt by confusion. Uh, this is not going very well at the minute. If this is a sign of things to come, the SSN is going to be pretty difficult and I really hope we don't uh, have any Pokemon die on us because that is going to really mess us up. 
A Dragonite is level 28. Right, there we go. That is Gentleman Thomas taken care of. I'm going to try and keep my potions as much as I can and maybe just use them just in battle. So this is going to be very annoying to so keep going back to the Pokemon Center. However, I would rather do that than waste potions. And I would rather do that than lose Pokemon. More importantly, that is obviously the main thing because we haven't lost one so far. And I would like to get through as much as the game, if not all the game, without losing a Pokemon. That's not going to happen. It is going to happen at some point. But obviously, the longer we can prevent that, the better. Especially if it's our Dragonite, because our Dragonite is our key. I think if we didn't have Dragonite, I don't know whether we could even pull this off. I think it'd be a lot harder than it currently is. Not that it's not hard. I just think it would be a lot harder than it currently is if we didn't have Dragonite on our team. For sure. That's a bit annoying. We've got to do this every single time. We've been here before. You've just seen us. No, because we've just been to the Portman Centre. If I knew you were there, that's actually not a bad idea. That I could we use that to heal ourselves. That is a very good idea. Oh, Gengar, dude. Not good, not good, not good. No, 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 no. We'll swap out to Dragonite. We nearly got level 14 Fevo, so that is good. We are very close to leveling up Fevo, and to get that level 16, we'll be moving on to the next Pokemon in our party. Fair enough. Fair enough, however, I have no idea what that curse is. Weeping Bell. I have no idea what that curse is going to be. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. I don't want it to affect Dragonite too much. Come on, let's just get one Dragon Raid. Just get one strong Dragon Raid and hopefully that will be enough. Or not. Oh, is it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Is this going to be enough to take out Weep and Bell? No. Oh, close. Oh, close. This is what it is. This should be enough, though. There we go. Level 15. Should be a knob. Alright, fair enough. Can't battle that person, so we're going to head into the next one. Can't battle them either, so we're going to go into the next room now. There we go. Stami. Level 21 Stami levels are quite high in SSN. So we really need to start leveling up our Pokemon. We really need to start getting a bit of an advantage going. Well, that was a silly move, wasn't it, Starmie? Oh, Swift, damn. Dude. Close. 
plus. Oh, come on. Damn. We were so close. Oh, don't do that. There we go. Stami is done for. Is that, was that the only Pokemon he had? I honestly can't remember. There we go, yeah. Did she want a battle? Does he? She, yeah, she wants a battle. Sweet. Then we got the item down there to get as well. Far fetched. Sweet. Right. Let's switch back out of Dragonite. There we go, Farfetch'd is taken care of. An executor. Well, that was a colossal pain in the... Oh, don't do it again, dude. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, I got way too cocky there. I got way too cocky there. That was so close. Oh, dude. I got way too comfortable. That is not good. Found Ice Beam. Let me teach that to anyone. Ice Beam is a quite good move, isn't it? Ah, oh, I do it every time. Not in a massive rush. Didn't know that was in there. Might as well check the rest of them now. Sunstone. I'm definitely checking all this stuff. Big Pearl.
A stick? Fair enough. Bead mail? Fair enough. And we're going to have to battle this dude. There were quite a few items there, so that was good. This dude's got three Pokemon, he's sending out Weezing. And we're going to swap out to Dragonite, of course. No. Oh, dude. Oh, my. I panicked so much there. That is the move I hate more than anything. It's self destruct because that is so unpredictable about how strong it is. I just, it's. Come on. We can do this. No, I don't do that. Persian is level eight. So we've already got Persian up three levels so far, so that's good. That's what we like to see. We like to see Persian get a few more levels or trying to get our team up to level 16. So we're a bit more even. Then once we get level 16, we're going to start with the next one. Uh, getting towards our level 20 will probably be the next one we'll go for. Based on plans, just have them cycle like that to try and get them a bit more even in match. I really want experience share. That would really solve a lot of issues I've got. That would really make things a lot easier to level up. Because I can choose one Pokemon, level up all of them at the same time, a bit more even. They'll level up slower, but they'll level up on more of an even basis. There we go, Persian's up at level 10. So over the course of that battle, we got Persian up 5 levels. That is why I do the trick that I do. Right, he's only got one. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Did not realize how effective uh, rock type moves were against that. So that's basically, I need to remember rock type is strong against dragon. I need to keep that in mind for future battles, especially when they start getting a lot higher levels. But in a twister will finish the job. I think we'll be fine with twister. Or if not, we can survive another rock throw. There we go. Persian is level 11. And Dragonite is now level 29. So we're getting to the point where Dragonite's not even going to bail us anymore. That's not good. He's going to learn Slam. Which is quite a powerful move. We'll get rid of Rap. Uh, yeah, Rap. I'm just going to see whether the plant's got anything in it. You never know, do you? No. 
So we are, we've done two rooms. We're going to head back to that room where someone asked if I want to rest. Because I'll see whether that heals us. Because that would definitely help. Save us going back to the... Um, Pokemon Center all the time. Did that restore our health, our PP, etc.? I think it did. Yep, all looks good in the hood. Right, see what this guy's doing. See what Pokemon he's got. Hopefully we can defeat him. No problem. We've got a horsey. There we go. Sorted. That is horsey taken care of. Metapod. I like when we go against things like Metapod because we can just use the low level Pokemon just to beat it on its own. It takes a while, but I think it's better overall because it's going to get all the experience points itself, which is not going to complain, are you? There we go. Persian is level 12. Hypno. For the final Pokemon of this Pokemon battle. Damn. First time, it's got, it hasn't got a great accuracy, that has it. I just want to do what it's like. It's a pretty damn good move, that. Right, see what item this is. Calcium. Can we sleep in the beds or not? No. What does calcium do? This is the SP special attack. I think we're going to give that a Dragonite. I have no idea what this stuff does. Uh, just leave it. Just leave it. So we need on this. We need on this floor. Oh damn! I was trying to get away. He could have trapped us there. Actually, I just thought that could, if we got that Pokeball, he could have trapped us and we could have, could have been screwed. So that's probably a good job. That wouldn't have been good. Oh, I hate that move. The awful move. Have a dragon rage for your trouble. So annoying. Psh, psh, psh. The 
triple slap. That was three. Please be enough, please be enough, please be enough, please be enough. Yeah, damn right. Level 13, Persian. Licky dong. Close, we were close, but no cigar. There we go, Licky Tongue is done for. That is TM07 Hill. I'm going to go in this last room. It's got two trainers in it, so that's good. Dragonair. Close, we were close. Persian is level fourteen. That is the end of that battle, so we're gonna head over to this next trainer. We've got a whole team of final evolutions, just notice that. That's cool. Our whole team is literally final evolutions. That's really, really awesome. A Dragonite, Omastar, Hypno, Weezin, Fever, and Persian. Close, we were close. Close, but no cigar, unfortunately. But that was enough. That was enough to win it. That is us done. It's going to send out a Kabuto. A Kabuto. I'm really curious to see what that fossil's got. No, when we were in um, Mount Moon, we got a fossil. I think I got the Kabuto one, but obviously, as we've seen, it's going to be random. I'm really interested to see what it gets. It'd be funny if it was like a metapod or something. <laughs> it won't be funny at all. But obviously, we've got an Amistad in the wild, so who knows what it's going to be. Hopefully, it pays off. Hopefully, it's like a really awesome Pokemon, like a Mewtwo or something. That would be mint. So we've got level 15 Persian now, one more level, and we're going to start the next one, which is either going to be Omastar or Weezin. I'm not entirely sure which yet. I will decide closer at the time. Uh, we've done the bottom floor of SS Anne, so let's head back in here and see whether we can rest up. Hopefully she'll let us, because I can't be bothered going back to the Pokemon Center. Yes, we can. That's handy. 
That's really handy. We've been here, haven't we? It's the kitchen. Yes, we have. So we're going to head up to the top floor and see what we've got. How many have you got? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, have we got a rival battle now? Oh, I completely forgot about that because that's where the dude is who gives us cut. Our rival, V Ridge. I want to give a shout out. V Ridge is the guy who made this overlay that you are seeing on this video all this stuff here the logo the background everything you see here was created by v rage awesome youtuber he let me use this for free because he made it for himself and decided he wasn't going to use it so he gave it to me and said do what you want with it make a playthrough of it that would be awesome so i named my rival after him go and check him out in all the videos for this series his channel will be down below in the description box go and check that out go show him some love uh, because he's really made this overlay look awesome and it's really up the quality of this video so a uh, huge huge shout out to v rage for doing that for me very very kind didn't have to do it but he did it because he's a fellow pokemon youtuber and he wants everyone to succeed very very unselfish act because he has made my channel look a lot better than it is so very very unselfish of him very very cool go check him out like i said links for his channel in the description box. Completely forgot we had our rival battle though. Completely forgot about that. I was just counting the doors. See what we've got to do. But not to worry. We're going to have to battle with some point aren't we? So I might as well do it now. Might as well do it now and get it out the way. Level 16 Persian. Which means we can now work on the next Pokemon. I think we'll do the Omnistar Star scene so it's for lower level one. Nearly. Oh, we've got level 30 Dragonite now. Is it going to stop with Bairnus as much? I'm not entirely sure. We've got level 11 Omastar as well. And he's about to use Snorlax. He's about to use his starter. I right, said so we got Dragonite. He got Snorlax. When we find the sleeping Snorlax, will that be a Snorlax? Or will it look like a Snorlax and when we battle it, it'll be like something else? So I'm not entirely sure. That'd be really interesting to find out, actually. See, there's lots of good stuff, but we don't know what's going to happen. We've got the legendary birds, obviously, when we come across them. They could be anything. A lot of weird stuff going on. Who knows what all this stuff's going to be? But it's a really, really interesting find out. That was silly. I'm going to start is level 12. And we defeated our rival v -Ridge. So we're going to swap I'm going to start out. So he's now our main Pokemon when we start battling. And now we've got the Pokemon... Uh, our rival battle side out the way, we can now just commence with what we are doing.
Oh, close but no cigar. I suppose the good thing about SSN is giving us a great opportunity to grind. That's one of the main benefits of this. Oh, Jigglypuff. I'm just going to get rid of Jigglypuff. I can't be bothered to go through the whole being put to sleep stuff. Can't be done with it. Let's get rid of it. About to use Krabby. Yes, we'll swap out for Omistar. And we'll switch back out for a Dragonite. Use a bit of Dragon Rage. There we go. That was enough to take care of Krabby. And that is that trainer done for. And we're going to do that so he doesn't block our path to this item. He's only got one. That's good. It's going to be a very quick one. He's got a Bulbasaur. Level 23 Bulbasaur. Oh, damn. Our start is now level 13. So we're getting there. Our Pokemon are getting leveled up just very, very slowly. We've got quite a lot of money there. That's quite good. And this item is a red flute. Whatever that's meant to be. All right. I thought it might be in the flute awake Snorlax, but apparently not. Magma. Oh, we were close, we were close. I haven't got too much left of the SSN, I believe. I'm going to save seeing the captain till last because I'm not 100% sure that once you speak to the captain, any of the trainers that you can fight, I don't know whether maybe they stop it. So I want to basically explore everywhere, do that last just in case because I'm not 100% sure. Uh, obviously, like some places, sort of like it's like when you fight a gym where if you beat the gym lead before you beat all the trainers, you can't battle the trainers in the gym after that. So I'm not entirely sure whether that's how it's going to work with the SSM. Once you speak to the captain, does everything stop and do basically just have to like just go off the ship? So it's going to be the last thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to do these rooms. I'm going to go explore. There's a stairs. I'm going to go explore that. And then I'm going to go see the captain as the final thing. I'm star is now level 14. Now I'm going to heal up Dragonite. Because that curse did quite a bit of damage. Need arena.
Oh, close, close. I'm gonna do double kick. So we'll use Twister. We'll get rid of this Nidorina, see what else he's got. Horsey. We'll swap back out for Omastars. How far is it off being level 15? Getting there, getting there. Might be this, might be this battle. But we'll swap back out for Dragonite to finish Horsey off. Should be doing one, one or two moves. And we've got a couple more rooms. We'll go explore the uh, other part of the SS and then we'll come back. We'll get cut and then we'll leave the SS and then we can head over to the next gym, the third gym of the game. There we go, Horsey's taken care of. Oh, so we're not level 15 yet. We're close, close, we're getting there. Did, 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 did. Cleanse tag, whatever the hell that is. We've got two more rooms, come on. I almost don't want any trainers in here because I can't be bothered. <laughs> I want to just go. <laughs> We've been going for over 40 minutes now, and people, no, no one's probably watching this video, but whatever. Got to do it at some point, haven't I? Oh, no battle. <laughs> Almost got that far. We didn't want anyone to battle that. I can't battle them, so we're going to go up here. We've got the deck. Ooh, the two fossil Pokemon battling each other out. Well, they're not going to because I'm using Dragonite. Level 15, Omastar. So we're nearly at level 16 with Omastar now. I don't know how strong this is going to be, so I think I'm going to use a potion just in case. I know D can be quite a powerful move, so... Oh, oh, that's good. There we go. Psyduck. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He's nearly finished the SSN now. You know, it's been a long episode. And I said there's no one watching, but chances we've got to do an SSN anyway at some point. If you are watching right now, thank you. If you are watching this episode right now, thank you. That means so much. If you've sat and watched 44 minutes or whatever it's been of me playing Pokemon, that is absolutely fantastic. I cannot thank you guys enough. But even though the chances are that it's very, very, very minimal amount of people actually watching this right now. I've got to do the SSN either way. So it's got to be done. So I might as well do it in one go rather than split it up into two episodes. It just makes sense just do it in one go and get it out of the way. And then obviously the next episode can be dedicated to the gym. That's my view. Sorted. Was that the final Pokemon? Hopefully that's the final trainer as well so we can get out of here. Was there any items there? I know there probably isn't, but it's always worth checking. 
Nah, good to go. Good to go. I believe that's everywhere we've explored now, I think. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, that's definitely everything. So we're going to go see the captain. We're going to get cut. And then we're going to get out of here. Come on, there we go, got caught. Skip that text, I wanna get out of here. I just wanna get saved up and get out of here. Right, so we have done the SS Ant, now we're going to teach Cut to a Pokemon, and we're going to go to the third gym, Vermilion City Gym, and we're going to get the third badge in the next video. So hopefully you guys have stuck around with this being a long video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it today. And if you enjoyed this video today, make sure you hit that like button if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. My name is Doodles, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.